Hi YouTube, this is Robert, um, and I apologize about my video quality. Um, right now my camera really sucks, as if it hasn't before. Um, but in this topic, I'd like to talk about the tarot cards and how to to read them. Um, obviously. Um, now, when it comes to the court cards, I've discovered that whatever card is right next to them did determines what the that court card is. Now before I get into court cards, um, let me explain a little bit about what court cards are. Usually the court cards are the page, the knights, the queens, and the kings, and the tarot cards. They usually represent people. Now in the olden times people always say, well, uh, I believe it was the wands, is blonde and blue eyes, but in reality, since race is being mixed in, and, um, and plus considering the fact that Asians are brunette and blacks have black hair. That that kind of uh, I would say prejudice in the tarot cards wouldn't exist in this day and age. Um, but I've learned that they represent the element that that card is. For example, all cup signs, the the page of cups, the the knights of cups, the queen of cups, and the king of cups all represent the water type of element. So they usually represent rather Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Or it could also represent very emotional type of people. Like for example, if you look at the Queen of Cups, it, she has like a lid on her cup. and means that she's a, an older female who likes to keep her emotions buried in. Now this is common among all races. Um, <clears throat> usually the women who is very, very emotional tends to cover it up. Tends to hide their emotions because they learn that through their own emotions, they become vulnerable, and that's what the Queen of Cups represents. <coughs> now, the King of Cups doesn't have any, you know, covering on top. And usually, he's he's open about his emotions. Um, he'll let you know that he's mad, or he'll let you know that he's happy. <coughs> that kind of deal. <coughs> now, the Wands represents um, usually fire type of people because they're 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 the, the, the suit that represents initiation. Uh, the suits that represents thrusting forward. Like like a tree from the ground. And the swords represents air. Even though it's metal. Um, because the, the mind can be sharp like a... And also the words being used too can be sh deadlier than... You ever heard of it saying the pen is mightier than the knife? Well, the pen represents knowledge. And trading of information or you know that kind of thing so when you when you find like a page of swords for example it usually means an air type of person rather a Gemini a Libra or Aquarius or it could also represent a young person going through school or going through college especially if it's a, the knight of swords so you have to determine which is which you know you have to you have to base your your interpretation on on your judgments. But like I was saying about court cards, whenever a card appears rather before it, meaning that that's what the person is or that's what the person has done, and then the card that's appearing in front of it, which represents the type of person that they're developing towards or go their goals or their mentality, whatever, and also it represents their future self. For example, Whenever I do a reading for someone, I I also I often notice that when a court card appears, and let's say, <coughs> let's say, um, I don't know, the fool, and then the page, I mean the <coughs> the swords of night, the knight of swords, I mean, and then the the magician after that, that to me represents a person. Who has who has thought about taking school, who are, who has thought about taking classes, yet doesn't really know where they want to take. I mean, they don't know what course to take. But then, whatever course they'll take, no matter what it is, they'll succeed in their life because they'll they'll develop the tools as indicated by the magician in front of them. They, they'll develop the tools to succeed in whatever endeavors they choose to to, to take. Now, usually, when when there's like another court card, like like say um, the page of the 
the page of swords the lovers and the the queen of pinnacles okay let's say that's a layout the three spreads three spreads um, reading that's telling me that a a young man is thinking the page of swords represents the mind the, there is a young person I, I don't know whether it's male or female but it's usually female with the page sometimes it's not 100 percent accurate but it's just usually page represents young girls and knights represent young boys well <coughs> if the page of swords is first and then the lovers and then the queen of 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 cups that may seem like a a lesbian reading but it's it could be but it's not 100% accurate it could mean that this young person admires the older woman and wants to develop skills and abilities like that woman so and even though this woman is very co you know trying to keep her emotions you know secret <clears throat> sorry I, I'm going through some health problems um, it, it usually represents that that page be it a young boy or a young girl usually a young girl is finding admiration something that she loves about this other older woman who is the page I mean who is the queen of cups that's what it usually represents <clears throat> now usually it's kind of difficult especially when you use layouts like I, I personally use the five spread because I believe that the fewer cards you use the more accurate the reading is compared to the Celtic cross or you know the the zodiac um, reading which requires um, I think the Celtic cross deals with 10 cards and the zodiac reading deals with 12 cards to me that's just too much I mean if you want hard proof answers right now I'd rather use the three spread or the five spread I usually like the five spread because personally the first card represents the past the, pre the pre second is the present the third card is the hidden influence the fourth card which I love the most is the advice position and the fifth card represents the outcome if you take the advice <coughs> that's why I think these the three card the five cards are far more accurate than than the Celtic or the Zodiac but hey whatever floats your boat go for it I just like to use the three or the five card spread but usually when when you have this kind of reading and it's like let's say you have a lot of court cards in your in your reading that would really suck because that's an interference from a lot of people and it, it just usually means that your your question hasn't really you you weren't quite specific about your question or the questionnaire wasn't specific about his or her question especially when a whole bunch of I mean it usually if there's more than three court cards in the reading especially in a five spread then you would have to ask a more specific question. <clears throat> it's rather it the cards won't answer the question, or you've got too much in your the questioner has too much in their mind. So that's my little um, FYI about the tarot cards. Um, leave your comment below. Tell me what you think, what methods you use, what spread you prefer to use, you know, and why. Um, better yet, make a video response because I. I I like to read people's faces, you know. Sometimes people will say, "You're fucked up." To me, that's mean they're they're being funny, as as opposed to be, "You're fucked up." That's being serious. So, yes, <clears throat> I do read body tone. I mean, voice tone, body language, as well as the words you use. To me, those are the three elements of communication. So, if you'd like to make a video response, I would be more than welcome to view it. Thank you.